What's up, Sons? It's Blind Ride with Sava Tech once again, and NVIDIA released a development driver that unlocked the full mining performance of the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte for Ethereum, then promptly removed it. But you can still get your hands on it. And on that note, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted Rocket Chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for Rocket Chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers, or bots. Welcome back. So in a crazy turn of events and found out by Brandon Coin, huge shout out to Brandon Coin. We'll put a link to his original video down in the description. The NVIDIA developer driver was released and that driver number was 470.05. And when they released it, they apparently forgot to shut off the mining performance for Ethereum within that driver, or maybe something more nefarious is going on. But without further ado, let's show you guys the mining performance real quick over here. So you guys get an idea. We do have it running and it is super exciting. And as you guys can see, we're around 48 to 49 mega hash at 136 watts. I haven't had enough time to keep playing with it. So give me a little bit more time, but that performance is insane. It's been running pretty steadily for quite a while now at those hash rates. And then if we take a look at our NVIDIA control panel, you can see we are on game ready driver version 470.05. So there you go. And like I said, you can still get your hands on it. You may just have to hunt for it. So here's where things get odd. If you put it in a secondary PCI slot, even if it supports PCIe 4.0, or you attach a riser to it, the driver dies and basically goes back to gimping ETH. So it's very interesting right now, and I'm gonna put on a tinfoil hat, that not only has Linus Tech Tips done a nice hash miner video, as well as selling graphics cards to gamers only, verified gamers, that now we have this development driver that only functions if a single card is in the system and that card is in PCIe slot one. <laughs> this is the craziest world I think I've ever been in. We can't even get to a Ravencoin node how to because stuff just keeps happening. It's absolutely insane. So first of all, huge shout out to Brandon Coin for discovering this initially, or at least putting me onto it. And a huge shout out to a buddy who will remain unnamed for helping me track down the driver as I was late to the game, trying to get through this Ravencoin node how-to, which is almost done. It's just taking me a long time to go through the how-to because of how big the chain is, which we will talk about in that video. So at this point, we are looking at conservatively 48 mega hash a second at 135 watts, which is pretty good for a 3060 or a 60 series GPU. That is two and a half times the performance of the 1060 on Ethereum. And I'm super impressed with its performance on Ethereum. It would make it super profitable. So obviously, it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes. The caveats come in, unless people can figure it out, that you can't really run it on a rig. Now, I am also still trying to track down the Linux driver to try it out in Hive OS. So if you guys have any contacts that can hook me up with the Linux driver for, of course, science and testing purposes, then let me know. Once again, don't forget to check out the Rocket Chat if you are curious on what to mine with the RTX 3060 as alternatives if you didn't get your hands on the beta driver. And we will see you guys over there if you click that join button. Thanks everybody for watching. This is super awesome. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.